What, you want more nerd news? Well, you've come to the right place then. According to The Sun, if you can believe such a tabloid, Adele has started working on the theme song for Bond 23. Now, if this is true, then this is fantastic. As one of the hottest musical talents out there, this Londoner has a voice as powerful as the original Bond favourite, Shirley Bassey. Well, I'm really pleased to tell you today all about the brand new iPhone 4S. Apple have launched their newest iPhone and it's not the iPhone 5, it's the iPhone 4S. It may have left a few people with some doubts and some questions, but the firm have said the new iPhone will have over 200 new features and will run the latest iOS 5 operating system. Have you got your hands on yours yet? But don't be deceived, because inside it is all new. Executive Vice President for Creative Affairs for Warner Brothers Animation, Sam Register, has revealed at Cannes that a new Batman animated series is coming called... Beware the Batman. The CGI animated series will spotlight a classic looking Batman teaming up with a gun toting Alfred Pennyworth and a female ninja sidekick. Wow, we can't wait for this one. <laughs> Disney's popular Lion King hit the screens in the UK recently in 3D and now Disney are preparing for four more movies to get the same treatment over the next two years. Beauty and the Beast will be in 3D in January 2012, followed by Finding Nemo in September. Then Monsters Inc. on uh, January 18th, 2013, followed by The Little Mermaid in September 2013. Lots to look forward to then. The director of Machinima's web series Mortal Kombat Legacy has been given the go-ahead by Warner Brothers to direct a full-length movie. Details have been released saying that shooting will begin in March 2012 and the final film being released sometime in 2013. A few weeks ago everyone was up in arms with Superman's new outfit from Zack Snyder's upcoming Man of Steel. Well, now images are online of Russell Crowe as Daddy Superman himself, Jor-El. The pics reveal quite a bit of information and if you look closely you'll see similar texturing that was on the Superman suit. So, does Kal-El wear a Kryptonian suit as Superman rather than a costume made out of blankets that he had when he crashed into Earth? 80 year old Leonard Nimoy announced at the Rosemont Star Trek convention in Chicago recently that he is now finally retired. The ears are off and the uniform is hung up and as big fans of Trek, Invasion of the Body Snatchers and more recently Fringe, we at Following the Nerd wish Mr Nimoy all the best. Live long and prosper, sir. Last week, we at Following the Nerd received news that we are finalists in Northern Ireland's Choice Awards. On top of that, Following the Nerd has submitted an entry into this year's European Podcast Awards. So thank you all for your support. It really is much appreciated. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page for news, reviews and interviews and even some competitions. For now, though, I'm going to leave you with a bit of Batman singing the Parpoff Girls. Yeah. That's what I said. The only thing that's going around my head is fighting crime, trying to save the world. Here they come just in time. The power puff girl, power puff girl. Fighting crime, trying to save the world. Here they come just in time. The power puff girl. Know it? You know it? I do know it. I, 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 I do know it. You gotta know the power of tough girls. You you gotta know the power of tough girls. Fighting, fighting, trying to save the world. Here they come just in time. The power of girls. Power of girls. This is all that I hear all the time. Power of girls. I was going out singing power of girls all the time. I was going out singing power of girls all the time.